Yo, what's the crack guys? My name is Man I'm Martin and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Holy shit, someone's shooting over there. Anyway, I've pimped my horse out. Look, he's got a Mohican, he's got... Whoa, look at his... Is he taking a shit? Well, he's got a cool looking tail now. I've pimped all my weapons out. Uh, I've got like a gold plate shotgun. Take a look at this shit. Oh yeah, one shot, one kill. It's so sick. Pump action. My pistol's gold now. It's pretty sick, like... I'm loving it. I'm loving all the stuff you can do on this game. I have to head back to uh, see Dutch now, back at our camp. So I'm gonna head straight to him and see what we got, what we got to do. Um, do you know what? Actually, before I go and talk to Dutch, unless he speaks to me before I can even get there, let me take this marker off the map as well. Let's see if I can donate some money to my um, camp. Am I able to do that? I guess not. I think I still have to talk to him first. Okay, let's talk to him. When we reach Paris. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. Right, so we have to go and check out where we're going to be moving to. Look at my s my horse is sick, my dudes. I love it. Dig big. You were the best, man. Right, we have to ride to Dewberry Creek. I guess we just have to check um check out check out the area that we need to be going to. Make sure that it's safe for our people to go down at. Nice. Do I what, why is it not showing a marker of of uh, the road? See what these guys have to say though first. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the... Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. So what, we're already Thanks, here? Sir. Well, let's take a look around. Oh wait, this is it, for really. It's just down the fucking road. Search Dewberry Creek for any inhabitants. I, uh... Does that just mean... Oh, what the hell? It's a dead body. Yes, I see it, dude. What the fuck happened to this guy? He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Am I able to skin him? I mean, oh, is that it? Yeah, oh, I have to wait for him to come over and and uh, take a look. What do you think, dude? Do you think he's dead? Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Aye, right, let's go to the bitch. camp. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. Oh, sweet. We're gonna go and kill people already? Oh, we're just walking there. 
Right, okay. Charles, let's go take a look. Right, let's go with my gold shotgun. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Oh, it looks like. Look around and make sure. Wonder if they've just been wiped out or attacked or something in here. What's this? Anything in here? No. Yeah, it looks like someone else had the same idea as us. Trying to camp out in here or some shit. Trying to get away from the law or something. And hink in here. Maybe they heard us come. Pistol cartridges. You better not jump out on us. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. Maybe someone um, came here and killed them. And that's one of the guys that lives here, obviously. We'll soon find out. Oh god, it's just a fucking family. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Well, I guess someone killed her fucking husband again. Not again, but every time we meet a girl, she's like, My husband! He's being killed! He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? M men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. A German lady? German family here, no, like this way. the fuck. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Oh, follow Charles. Okay, come on, Charles, take the lead. Take there. the lead, my dude. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. We need to go and kill whoever this is, man. Like we are outlaws, but I want to kill even worse you people. You know what I mean? Send that woman and her children on their way. We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. What are you checking, dude? We're gonna get hit by a train in a minute. <laughs> okay, looks like they go down this way. Is this gonna be another bunch of fucking redneck bastards, or or it could be the um, the what other gang? With those Pinkertons, anyway. When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Easy. Oh, come on, dude. They hardly went in the fucking water for a swim. The hell? The fishes are there. <laughs> Continues along the shore here. So you were just talking about something? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Yeah, the funny thing is that in Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, which is John supposed to be set after this game, that kid is is a John Marson's son, so to get kidnapped... Don't anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well... <laughs> It's John's idea. It must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was rich, think this is the right way. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, in Red, Red Dead Redemption 1, they kidnapped John Marson's wife and kid, and that's why he has to do all the stuff he does. And yeah, it's crazy how to think that you know what happens to all the people in the first game, even though this is the one set before the original Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, he did. And we 
Bruce. Family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Killing time, boy. Wait, search the camp for settlers. Let's take a look. Oh, maybe the guys just kept going around to different camps and shooting people and stuff. Sick bastards. Nah, someone's definitely right here somewhere. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Yeah, I like this one better. There he is. In German? Wait, where is he? Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Um. I can't see. Sh yeah, yeah, I'll cut the ropes if I could bloody see the bastard. It's blending in on the ground. Oh, it's a fucking trap. Get the fuck out of here, you cunt. Who the fuck? This is really hard to see in Hink whenever there's a fucking light on. Is that all of them? Bang, bang. Yeah, that's all of them. Shit, where's my shotgun? Let me get my eye pumpy out. He's got a pumpy! Boom! Oh! Come on, bruh! Where are you running, that bitch? There's no riders coming there. Just clap them, boy. My shotgun. I fucking clap them with that shotgun, right? Let's go talk to this spreck in the... Fucking German dude. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Look at my knife. It's fucking Feeling sick looking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. This is a lovely spot. I love it. Return the settler to his family. All right. Let's let's bring Spreck and the German guy back to his family. And nice, we got a new camping area. That's so cool. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. <laughs> Man, every time I meet anybody that that doesn't speak English, I just I wish I could speak their language. It'd be so sick. Just okay. I did not mean to do that. Here we go, there we are. We got him back to his family. Hey, look at them, they're all so happy. <laughs> He's saying vamos, vamos. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. I already got yeah. unlimited gold bars already, guys. I don't need your peasant gold. I've got unlimited gold. See? Sometimes, even though you don't want to help someone out, and you do, it ends up alright. Do I have to help these guys move to this new camp or do we just get moved there? Right. Oh no. Oh, this place. Cool. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Pearson. Put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are. But we are going to make the best of it.
Nice, so we've got a new place. Um, we've got a new little base. And everyone's happy. Alright, let's uh, donate some money, yeah. Let's donate a bit of money into the box, because I've got a lot of money at the moment. See how much how much money I can actually give. Let's put a thousand in. A thousand's gonna be a lot for the camp, I think. Wonder if that like upgrades it or something. Let's try. There you go. Thousand pounds. Yay, I got a thing for that. I got a trophy for that. What's the ledger? That fucking noise is annoying the fuck out of me. Oh, right. Yeah, let's... I'm just gonna... Incre I'm gonna increase everything in the camp. Upgrade everything. Fuck it. May as well, man. While I've got the money in the dough. I'm just gonna... Is this good stuff? Increase total supplies. Let's just buy all of it. Upgrade the camp as best we can. Yeah, after this, I'm going to go and talk to Dutch again. He's probably going to have another mission for me straight away anyway. Alright, the whole camp has been upgraded, boys. Let's go. Oh, right, let's go and see this lady. Oh, good morning, uh... Molly. Fine. Fed up moving all the time. She has to be fucking Irish, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm sick of moving all the time. I need to be alone. Oh, I wish I was alone with her. <laughs> right, let's go and talk to fucking Dutch. See what he has to say. Look at him peering out into the water. I wish I wouldn't have to walk this goddamn slow. Oh, there we go. Right, Dutchy boy. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on okay dutch it's nice out yeah man i just upgraded your whole camp there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fish we're going fishing Again? Catch some big fishes? Hello, Dutch? Why the hell did he stop talking all of a sudden? There's a creek around here, it's got a lot of fishes in it. And then just completely blank. Completely not saying anything at all. Dutch? Hello, Dutch? What the hell? Oh, here we go, okay. This creek. Warmer weather would my days are looking good along. Hey, where's my horse? Oh, here's my horse. Come on, then. Let's go fishing, Hosea. So, I guess we're going fishing again. Nice, okay. I don't mind doing random activities um, with the characters because you can get to know who they are and stuff. Sorry, bro. Wonder what happens if I... Oh, I can't. <laughs> we only have to move in there. We literally just moved there in there ten minutes ago. There was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, 
Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing, Nothing would give me greater pleasure, pleasure but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Nice. So like we've long, got a new yeah. town, a new Playing city that we need to go to. But we have to be good, we can't be bad. But I can't help it man, I accidentally shoot people in the head, I accidentally um, rob trains. I just accidentally do bad shit all the time, so... Wait, what's happening here? Is that someone Hello, imprisoned? Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Who is it? Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Uh, do we know these guys? Wait, I don't even know what's happening here. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir. What did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't... Oh, for fuck's handle. sake. We just let out, like, well, the, probably the worst people ever. My friend, Arthur, chase wanted man, uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Ah, oh, come on, Archer, hop on. Come on, big guy. Right, let's go. Now we're gonna make friends with the sheriffs. Yeah, what thing I'm doing? Oh, look, the big fucking bulls. Alright. Shut up, mate. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have to jump on the train. This guy's pissing me off. Arthur Callahan. Arthur Callahan. Please, my neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. It's funny how back in the day, well, apparently back in the day, no one, no one knows wanting people in their own areas, in other areas. Did I not say that? I want to shoot them. Oh, am I able to last shoot them? <laughs> oh no! No! Do you see that? You fell onto the lasso! What the fuck, man? That was so weird. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I went to the lasso one and I'm off. We're at the side of the train. I'm not doing anything! This guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah, let's go! Whoop! Time to fucking kick some heads in, boys. Holy shit. He's slapping my bitch up. He's slapping me up. I want to shoot them bad. Come on, boys. I should rob this train while I'm helping the sheriff. Oh, I want the last suit to be out, man. I want to grab one of them with a suit. That would be so fucking cool, wouldn't it? I doubt I'll be able to do that, though. Oh shit, boy. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. I stopped them. Okay. 
He thinks I'm a cop. I'm gonna fuck. Am I able to lasso him? Oh no, I'm not. Haha, <laughs> get your fucking head whipped in, boy. Oh. Ah, hi. Oi, 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 oi. He's kicking my head and he's kicking my head in. He's kicking my fucking head in, boys. Get the f <laughs> I just slammed him off the train. Are you riding my goddamn horse beside me and not doing anything? You're fucking used to shit. Aha, we meet again, so... I'm gonna start kicking this guy's fucking head in this time. What up, bitch? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, get your fucking head butt. Get your fucking head butt. Get your fucking head kicked in, bitch. Oh, he's off the train. Ah, oh, for fucking sh... Alright, I'm gonna fucking kick the shit out of this guy this time. Come on. Get your fucking head kicked in, you cunt. Get your... Get off. Get off. God, I only fucking fell off again, man. Why did they make it so when you throw someone off the train, your guy just decides to stand at the edge? Oh, come on, I want to kick the fuck out of this long-haired bitch. Come here, bitch. Do I get a knife? Oh, God. Come on, son. You're about to get your fucking head kicked in, bitch. Don't kill him, okay? He's shanking me! He's shanking me up! Get your fucking... Oh, this boy is... Ah, he's gonna kill me. Oh, his knife's gone. This sheriff needs to come in here and take this guy out. Fucking cunt. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not stamping on his head in there, no. Haha. Are you able to loot him? Alright, let me pick him up. Oh, hello, Sheriff. You're gonna do nothing as usual. Bring him out here. We made friends with the law, so like we're good. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? <laughs> Old Anders Anderson. What? Let me put him on your horse. Nope. Why my horse? Why don't you take him? I love my horse. I'm, <laughs> I'm a natural at kidnapping people. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. I hopefully I get to meet these people, man, if they're rich and go rob their fucking houses. <laughs> That's all I do in the Wild West back in these days. Just find the rich families and go rob their fucking house. Dutch has asked the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble in roads. I'm not gonna cause trouble. I'm actually going to try my best not to get into any trouble unless someone starts a fight with me. Then it's not my fault that they get knocked out, you know what I mean? But yeah, ho hopefully it'll be a cool looking town. Now it is. It's way bigger than the other one. Holy shit. Kind of reminds me of the uh, original Red Dead kind of town that I see. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. 
What more do you need? Very little. Oh good, they're back. I really like this time, it looks really good. Yep. Okay. Nice. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right. <laughs> Imagine the we got inside there and we're just like Hey guys and, and this is like You're that guy that everyone's looking for. Nope. That's not him. His name's Arthur Morgan. No, that's not Arthur Morgan. I forget what it, like I forget what name he gave him. Mr. Gray. <laughs> Dropped him on his neck. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go, but no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out or rebel gold or marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. He lives in the fucking trash hole of nowhere, that boy. <laughs> nice, man. Do I have to carry on with these guys? I actually want to go and so look around the town a bit. Families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. It was a very good fishing trip. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you a fishing trip? For one day? Uh, I'm gonna decline it, to be honest. I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. I feel bad, but at the same time, the fishing in this game is something you go and do by yourself. I don't really. I don't think anything else is going to have around now. I just want to take a look around this town. Yeah, okay. Alright, do you know what? Let's let's just go over and check out who the greys are. And then in a different episode I'm going to go and check uh, a bathhouse in one of the towns. Because apparently something can happen there with some, some women. I'm not sure. Let's go to the greys first though. Talk to this guy. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay, so we just have to go down and speak to this dude down here. He's got all the time in the world. Uh, is he going to be a really old dude, or is he going to be a nerdy-ass fool? Well, put your bets on. Is it going to be an old, boring dude? Some young nerdy dude. Huh? The fuck? What the hell is there blood in that bucket for? Is there a different way in here? Oh, here. Oh. God damn it. Why are you out here? It's a young nerdy guy. God damn it. Excuse me. 
friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, don't worry your, your secret's, secret's safe, safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Whoa, fuck it. All right, dude. You bet. Why, why am I doing this, man? I've got loads of money. I don't need to do this shit. So, is it right here? Is it literally right here that I'm going to? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, I need my horse. So, we have to ride over and give this, this guy's crush a letter and a bracelet. So, we're supposed to sneak around here, but there's so many goddamn people around here. Right, I don't know. Should I get in the water and swim? Oh god. I did not know that you could run out of stamina in the water. Get out, get out, get out! Oh, thank fuck for that. See if we can speak to her without her screaming her head off or some shit. Penelope Braithwaite. Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'm the goddamn. I'm a goddamn letter boy, am I? I just send people letters. Leave the area without being seen. All right, guys. So, the fuck is that? Go. Can, can you stop running into goddamn trees? Oh my god. the fuck was that? I don't know if I really want to open this, do I? Is there someone in here? Oh god, that's uh...
that's not good. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Good luck.